after dozens of requests to upload a part two of our Baldur's Gate 3 date night, the two of us have the perfect excuse to sink even more time into this amazing game. Just because we finish our video doesn't necessarily mean we're done with the game. We've played plenty more since then, and we're far from finished with our shenanigans in Baldur's Gate. There's been some changes to our campaign since our last long rest, and some new party members have even entered the fray. So this week, we're headed back to Baldur's Gate for date night, but this time around, we're bringing along some friends. What are you guys trying to do right Helping now? Helping a rat. Oh, you're helping a rat. Yeah, they're obviously doing the most important quests, so. As much as we enjoy the Origin characters' company, they all keep trying to hit on us. So what better companions to team up with than another couple? We've been friends with Ben and Shannon for years, and of the many things we share in common, both couples are completely obsessed with this game. So tonight it's time for a Baldur's Gate double date. The beautiful thing about Baldur's Gate 3 is that you can play through it a dozen different times a dozen different ways and still not see everything. There's just so many little details and layers to uncover. Sharing that adventure with each other only made that more clear. We were seeing things we'd never seen before, they were seeing things they hadn't seen before, and all the while we were barely through the first stages of Act 1. Shan, do you like this scene? Oh, gross. I didn't see this last time. What is happening? <laughs> we're getting you a pet. Do you like <laughs> That is disturbing. Ew. Yeah, Shen, we walked right past this part last time because I didn't want you to like quit within five minutes of this game. Before we even made it into the game properly, we had to fight the most difficult boss fight of them all, the character creator, but with two girlfriends. I'm sure Ben is just like me where he's just sitting there spinning his character yep, yep, <laughs> because yep. he's done with it. <laughs> If the boyfriends had been smart, they would have set us up an hour earlier than them so they wouldn't spend as much time waiting around. But funnily enough, since we've been through this before, the sat allocation was actually the easy part. It almost made the double dose of character design palatable, but you could practically hear the eye roll when it came time to design the guardians. Wait, Ben, did I design a second person last time? Oh yeah, you just, I usually just hit next. <laughs> oh. I mean, but Shannon, I'm still designing my first, so you have time. <laughs> I was about to second. say, I may as well. I didn't know this oh, was an no. option. I've decided that playing with four people is undeniably the best way to play this game, and you cannot change my mind about it. As much fun as I have interacting with NPCs and learning their backstories, there's just nothing that beats having two additional humans to help us carve our way to Baldur's Gate. If you have the opportunity to play with a full party, I cannot recommend it enough. I'm gonna be honest, this is this is more fun than all of my campaigns. <laughs> the stakes are so much higher. The, this is this is the, the best way to play. Oh, probably the nicest thing about playing with a group of four is only having one character to worry about. For me, it's difficult enough to keep track of one set of skills, armor, levels, and inventory, but when we were responsible for watching after one of the origins, I sometimes would just leave them in the dust. It was like the video game equivalent of going out to play and your mom making you bring your little brother along. Uh, attitude towards Tarn just went down uh -oh, by five. Oh, I accidentally clicked the T. Oh no, Auntie Ethel's mad at you now. Anyways, that's all besides the point, because with four people, everyone keeps track of their own stuff. I only have one class to level, one character to equip, and one set of skills to prepare. Of course, that doesn't mean we don't lend each other a helping hand here and there when we need one. Hey, Ben. Yes. Did you want to check my work to make sure this is, like, at yeah. my level? Wow, you like made the same character, that's impressive. <laughs> I changed my hair. It seems like when playing with a group, we all share one collective inventory. Those aren't your potions, they're our potions. We exist in a sort of sharing economy, and I've gotta admit, it's nice just randomly finding new gear in my inventory courtesy of someone else. I'll be sure to pay it forwards and send my oil-filled barrel their way, no questions asked. Since sending potions and scrolls around the group is a free action in combat at any given moment when someone needs a heal, there's always a potion waiting somewhere for them. It's just a matter of finding out who had them last. Wait, Nick, can you send me the potions back? Uh, yeah. It's not like I need them. Of course I'd be remiss to not discuss some of the downsides to playing with four people at once. Most notably of all is our complete and utter lack of coordination at times. Sometimes the hardest thing in the entire game is just getting to bed, as no one seems to read dialogue boxes and we all just spam click until things go our way. So long as we're all in agreement, a long rest shouldn't be that difficult. Albeit, the next day when we're half asleep during combat, you can blame it on us being up all night clean button prompts instead. Long rest would be nice just because I don't have any more spell slots. That's fair. I don't I only either. have one. <laughs> All right. Long rest. Long rest. Long we're rest. Going camping. <laughs> and to sleep. Uh.
We are struggling to coordinate this sleep thing. <laughs> I don't know. Someone Who's clicking something. It? I keep saying yes. Someone we uh, wishes to I speak yes. to you. Who wants to speak to me? Just go to bed. Oh, I just tell them to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Just say hangers. no. <laughs> Elon, no work. Player. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> the hardest part of the game. Going through dialogue options with friends is one part democratic and two parts chaotic. Whenever a serious conversation is happening at camp, everyone wants to listen in because the alternative is watching your character sleep idly until the cutscene is finished. I'll protect you. I want to see this gnome. Okay. Atlas is trying to listen in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not checking the privacy button, but the next thing you know, everyone is shouting out different number dialogue choices to make. Sometimes I end up pushing numbers on the keyboard without reading the consequences of my actions. So if something bad happens, just know it was a team decision. Three, my lord. Three, my lord. Number three. Number three. Number three, my lord. Oh, okay, okay. Number three. One less friend at camp. This is a playthrough. I was gonna say, this is a dark playthrough we're having here. <laughs> Especially because that was Terran that just <laughs> killed <her>. Jesus. <laughs> you think that makes Terran an Oathbreaker? Yeah, I think it should if it hasn't already. I'm not entirely sure how, but it feels like this playthrough became our character's villain arcs. At times it feels a little cruel, but it's the NPC's fault for being made up of experience points. Besides, both couples have already played the game separately and been friendly nice to everyone. So I guess now it's time for us to give in to our darker urges. Oh, I broke my oath because of that, Ben. <laughs> oh no. Well, if you wanted to be an Oathbreaker, that was, uh... Well, we've done it. That's all she wrote, I guess. We definitely didn't go into things with the intent of making this an evil playthrough, but it certainly didn't take long for it to go down that route. Come on, Halshin. No, oh. he was asleep. Oh, good lord. He was a child. <laughs> They were boys! They were boys! They were boys! We usually don't hit first, but we've got one rule. Don't mess with the crew. If you come after one of us, you come after the whole family. This is for Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> yup, yup. That, that was, was amazing. Dude, I just got an achievement for that one. I did too! Kill two birds with one gnome. A big part of it has to do with the fact that we already have a full party, so there's not much of incentive to make new friends. We're out for ourselves, and we'll bulldoze through anyone who comes between us and our ambitions. I want to see what happens now. He's going to hate me. I tried to kill him. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, well, I guess the... Uh... We don't have a star in anymore. you think that with my boyfriend's horrible luck in our last playthrough, that probability would swing back in his favor. The truth is, it kinda did, but not exactly in the places he wanted it to. He still misses every other attack, but what he lacks in accuracy, he makes up for in charisma. Oh said, shit, someone's oh, running in me. here! Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> So... Who's this friend? He lands the dialogue checks with no sweat, whereas last time, he couldn't talk his way out of a paper bag. Of course, it can only go so far, and with this band of thieves, it's only a matter of time before our luck catches up with us. Oh, oh. my god. You have to roll a 22? I might be able to get it. With your rolls? I got it! I got oh. it! Critical <laughs> success. Dude, you're so freaking lucky. <laughs> I cannot roll enough 20s to protect you all. I'm leaving. We must have had some pretty bad karma from all our misdeeds. All the failed saving throws only added fuel to the fire and fed our gambling addiction. Sometimes the dice just don't land the way you want them to, and for us, misfortune was rampant across the board. Shannon, she's Louise. <laughs> Shannon takes no protection. Oh, ow. Okay. Shannon just got clapped. Uh... uh -oh. Does someone want to pick her up, or should I pick yep, her up? I got you her. Got her? Okay. No. I don't Thank do any you. damage. I'm just... I am going to smite this guy before he can hurt any more of my friends. <laughs> so long. <laughs> <laughs> so done with this game. I mean it when I say trouble followed all of us. In all fairness, we didn't do ourselves many favors either, though. So you might have a good chance. Nope, nope, you didn't have a good chance. Oh, man, you are very dead. As the saying goes, you miss every shot you don't take. But no one ever mentions how if you take too many shots, you're bound to miss. For us, we took that to heart. And if it wasn't picking fights we couldn't win, then it was getting thrown in jail for stealing. That's oh, true. Oh no, I did That's not mean true. to take that. I got arrested. Oh no. Can we go back to the <laughs> We just got here. <laughs> don't fight. Don't fight. <laughs> it. For 
five seconds. I can go to prison, give him gold, or attack. So attack seems pretty good. One way or another, it seemed like our group was always splitting off into pairs. Admittedly, it's nice that we all instinctively followed the buddy system, but if I didn't know any better, I'd think that the boyfriends were off on their own date night. All I'm saying is every time I turned around, it was just us ladies with the other two nowhere to be found. Uh, Shannon, I, um, I have an inkling that the boys have already left camp. Oh, okay. Naturally, the guys have a much faster tempo in the game compared to the two of us, so they're usually two or three steps ahead of the curve. In all fairness, that's exactly how they play when it's just the two of them, so I'm not sure what I expected. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm about to get thrown in jail. Oh, never mind, talked my way out of oh. it, we're good. Nice. They don't like droves around here, Ben. They really don't. He's with me. He's with me. <laughs> The reality is, they're the only reason we were making any kind of progress in the story. Whether it was starting a fight, talking to an important NPC, or just finding a useful item for the group, those two get the credit for making things happen. They're really good at keeping the group on track and juggling multiple objectives at once. Rest assured, if it was up to Shannon and I, then we'd have our heads buried in boxes the entire night because neither of us can fight the urge to loot everything in sight. So while they were both busy trying to push the plot forwards and upgrade everyone's gear, we were just busy talking to a rat. Where'd the rat go, though? He's right here next to the lady. Clearly, us girlfriends had our own priorities. We may have a slower tempo, but it's not any less helpful. The next time you're resting at camp, just remember that the reason we've got all those supplies is because the two of us stayed behind looting cheese wheels while the two of them ran ahead. Uh, hey, team, oh. are we ready uh, to progress? Good news, I found potatoes. Ooh, potatoes. We may need a little reminder here and there how to use the waypoints, but don't forget who remembers to pack the snacks. Oh dude, there's so much bread. So we'll stick to doing what we do best and continue talking to animals and stealing goodies. There's a rat you can talk to. Hey, hey we got it. Leaf. Right here. Hell yeah. Ah, he's running. Oh wait, Ben, there Ben, there's goes. a rat. No, 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 he's right here. I got him, I got him. No, wait, he's going to you. There he is, there Little he is. Little shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Taryn, do you have, um, press K. One sec, I'm following this rat. Alright, well. The rat wants us to follow it. Yeah. They're doing something more important, Ben, I'm sorry. Yep, obviously, <laughs> obviously. Hey, Ben. Yes. Do you have a lock pick? It's important. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, I might have one. Uh, I think Taryn just shot the door. Oh, I, do I have, did. Oh, that's a keychain. Can I shoot the door? Uh, yeah, don't- Oh, wait, I can't! Why are you shooting doors, guys? What's happening? Um, Nick, do we need to go save them? <laughs> I rolled a one! Uh-oh, Ben, we need to go. <laughs> we need to go help them out. I don't know which chest, maybe the one that what? she- Are you guys help? making this up, or is this an actual chest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a rat. Oh, okay. Okay! Yeah, do, I, do I kill her? Ben drew his weapon. <laughs> Can I shoot her? Well, we just commit murder. <laughs> what was in the pantry chest that we needed so bad? I don't know. Oh, you guys killed the rat! No! no! <laughs> now we can't finish the quest! Everyone, uh, everyone come over here. Okay, Shannon, I think we're on probation. Yeah, you guys lost uh, questing privileges. We just stay with the group. You guys aren't allowed to talk to any strange animals anymore. <laughs> we're we were doing so well. We really were. It's easy for the two groups to get a little hard-headed at times and think we don't need each other. And by we, I mean them. All it took was winning a few fights in a row before they started picking fights with everyone. But it didn't take long for them to realize that they were in over their heads. As much as they hate to admit it, they need us just as much as we need them. It seems like our looting always got cut short by the guys call for help to come and bail them out of danger. Shannon, if you take this shovel that I'm standing next to, you can dig for treasure. Shovel? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. That one. Hey, you can hey treasure fam. Hunt? Hey, fam. Yeah. When, when you get yeah. a second, uh, or, um, you Do you just <laughs> in the middle glasses? of something over here? Like, <laughs> 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 when, when it's convenient <laughs> for you guys, um, <laughs> Ben and I are fighting 
multiple wargs. Again, engaging in combat with four players at once is awesome, because to me, it felt like we were each part of a bigger team. Oh my god, my hat is phenomenal. Everyone had their own strengths and weaknesses they had to play around, and along with that came strategies that played off of one another. There's plenty of working out who we want to attack and in what order, but there's a healthy dose of chaos in the mix as well. The simultaneous turns when multiple people roll the same initiative is what really stood out in a party of four. It was something we hadn't really gotten to appreciate until we were in a setting where all four of us piled on an unsuspecting goblin all at once. I love that your axe just eats all the damage for us. Dude, it's a tank. And Ben's axe. And my axe. Throughout the evening, we were usually able to win most fights we ran into, even if we were on the back foot for many of them. With that said, encounters weren't exactly graceful victories, as we found the four of us were needing a long rest after every single battle. Fortunately, the excess looting meant we had more camp supplies than we knew what to do with. It may not be the freshest food, but when we're starved for spell slots, we'll eat anything. Hey, <laughs> Nick, have you looked at the inventories? Lately. What? Why? What's going on? Uh, Shannon and, and Taryn's inventory have a lot of uh, spoons and cups <laughs> and <laughs> rotten fish. What are you guys hoarding all of that for? Walking into this, I never would have expected the girlfriends to dominate so many of the combat encounters, but you'd be surprised how often we carried them to victory. Ironically, our two classes synergized really well together and managed to have good crowd control while picking up enemies one at a time. Wow. Oh, wow. This is, uh, Bard save us. <laughs> <laughs> Stay determined. Tarn. So those guys are still gonna be sleeping. Wow, <laughs> look at this strategy. Me and Nick just run in like dum-dums and get clapped. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I know. <laughs> and now you can end your great. turn. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna fuck up this goblin. He only has four health, okay? I believe in you guys. It. Okay. Can I hit him in I there? have the utmost faith right We now. will be able to hit him, we just have to get an angle. I feel like I'm watching Saving Do Private Ryan right him? now. There's a freaking sniper in the window. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Shannon You just gotta first, get an angle on it. We're going to <laughs> jump. I have 65. Should Do I try? It. Do it. Hit him. It's worth a shot. Yeah! Oh, Good work. Well oh done. God, that was amazing. <laughs> We're wow. Done. That was awesome. As it turns out, Nick and Ben needed us a lot more than we needed them. More often than they care to admit, I think fights ended with us still standing and them face down in the mud. And now we're going to dance right. the bar dance. <laughs> Please pick Ben and I up when you get a chance. <laughs> yeah, we'll think about it. <laughs>